All right, we're back everybody. Happy Wednesday. This is uh, intern queen time. So I want to talk to you guys about informational interviews because they are so important. And when I look back on my personal internship experience, I think it was probably the most important thing I ever did, setting up informational interviews. So let me tell you a quick story. Um, I was interning at Fox, the, uh, the television network in Los Angeles, and I was seated next to this stranger named Rob. And if you've heard me speak on campus before, you may have heard this story, but I was seated next to a guy named Rob, and Rob and I had something in common. We were very ambitious interns. Rob and I wanted to meet everybody in the office. So Rob and I decided that in, in an effort to try to set an informational interview, you know, and just to clarify, an informational interview is when you meet with somebody, usually who you admire, or maybe they work in an industry that you wanna work in, and you ask them questions about how they got started and how they got to where they are today. So Rob and I, we really wanted to set up informational interviews with everybody who worked at Fox. So we were interns in the drama development department, but we saw all of these fancy names and titles on all of the doors around us. VP of the network, president of the network, head of publicity. And Rob and I wanted to meet with everybody. So we were very savvy interns. We knew that the uh, email protocol at Fox, I think at the time it was first name dot last name at fox.com. So we took everybody's names off their doors and we wrote emails. We did not ask for permission. We are very bad interns. Um, and we emailed eight executives that were in our building on our floor. And I was the emailer. The emails went something like this, you know, hello, Mr. Samson. My name is Lauren Berger. I'm sitting here with Rob. I go to UCF, he goes to Penn, and we would love to sit down with you for five minutes to hear how you got started and get advice. How you got started and get advice, okay? Those are your two key phrases when you're asking to set up informational interviews. Rob and I sent this to eight executives on our floor, and I believe seven out of the eight executives said yes. They said that they would have their assistants work with us to set up meetings. So we were so excited and so nervous because you're going in to meet with a big executive. How nerve wracking is that? But we got to go in and meet with these executives and we got to ask them about their career path. Now, before we went into these meetings, we were clearly nervous. You know, we wanted to make sure that we made a really strong, professional, and lasting impression on them. So Rob and I brainstormed before the meetings and we said, okay, what are the five questions that we want to make sure that we ask all of these executives. And they weren't always the same questions. So in order to come up with a list of questions, we would look them up on LinkedIn. We would read about where they went to school, where they used to work, what their experience was, what their previous experience was. And we would come up with this list of questions. So the questions were things like, you know, how did you get to where you are today? How did you transition from your first job to this position? How did you, you know, how did you get that first job after college? Did you do anything specific in college that really helped you get to where you are today? So we wrote down all of these questions and we had them on a notebook and we went into these meetings. So when we go into these informational interviews, we go in with a notebook, with a pen, and ready to take notes. If someone goes into an in-depth story in a meeting, I wanna take notes because I wanna remember that information later that night. I wanna do whatever advice they tell me to do, right? Later that night. So it's really important to take notes during the meeting and don't worry about um, that coming across as rude. I think that executives actually like that because what they're saying is important and you should be writing it down. You can't remember everything that everyone has to say. So we would go into our informational interviews, we'd have our list of questions, and you kind of see where the conversation goes. And you wanna make sure that you get in at least two or three of those really important questions. I would prioritize them. They might not have time for you to ask all of them and that's okay, but take notes and at the end end of the meeting, okay? The magic words are, what is the best way to stay in touch with you? Because you wanna keep these contacts 
forever. Not just for that semester, not just for that year, but forever. And I promise these contacts, they might play a very important role in the rest of your career path. My last tip about informational interviews, and if you watch Intern Queen videos, this should not surprise you, is follow up. And what's my magic rule? You follow up with professional contacts three times per year, three times per year. So that means three times per year, you are emailing all of the people that you had informational interviews with and you're just saying hello. You're checking in to see how they're doing. You're letting them know what you're up to. And again, it's getting into the habit of staying in touch with professional contacts so that when you do need a favor, it's not awkward, you have a real relationship with them and you can ask them. So good luck and let me give you guys a little challenge. When you start your spring or your summer internships, or hey, even your fall internships, if you're not uh, interning until next fall, I want you to set up at least two informational interviews at every single internship you do, okay? Challenge is on. Good luck, everyone.